Daddario were one of the companies who got back to me. Out of all those other ones I mentioned in that previous vlog, there was two of them. It was Daddario and someone else. Daddario got back to me and said, Dan, we've got something in the pipeline. Hold fire. <laughs> Hi there, welcome along to today's vlog. Uh, you're very welcome here. Please do hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already and smash a like, that would be really appreciated. Don't forget, you can get four free saxophone lessons. That's the end of the plugs. A year ago, I asked this question in this vlog. Uh, it's the COP26 climate conference next month in Glasgow and I'm actually wanting to put together a video to ask various saxophone manufacturers or the musicians, etc., about what the music industry is doing and what the industry could do better to combat climate change in light of COP26. So I just wondered, what would your questions be? What would your questions be to Selma, Yanagasawa, Yamaha? Uh, what would your questions be to professional musicians, to tour managers? I want to be able to interview people like that. I've never really thought of the environmental impact of shipping a saxophone, say from Japan to London, um, from Paris to New York or further. And in the comments, Steve Keller, one of you guys said, and I love this comment from Steve, regarding climate change and renewable resources, reeds used to come packed in paper in a cardboard box. Now each reed is in a plastic sleeve. I prefer the old way. I think Mother Nature does too. Well, Steve and everyone else, Daddario have heard you. Daddario were one of the companies who got back to me. Out of all those other ones I mentioned in that previous vlog, there was two of them. It was Daddario and someone else. Daddario got back to me and said, Dan, we've got something in the pipeline. Hold fire. We think this is going to be really, really exciting for you and your viewers and all the saxophone community. And here it is, Organic Reads. <laughs> Now I've got this nice box that Daddario sent me to show off the organic reed. One thing you notice is everything here is cardboard, there's no plastic involved and the reed now comes back as Steve was saying in these old paper uh, holders. This is fantastic. Thank you Daddario for listening. Now Daddario have also sent some information out and they reckon that by moving to paper, just paper reed holders, getting rid of those plastic reed holders, they are going to save 30,000 kilos of plastic a year. Now. You don't need to be a scientist to know that plastic is a problem in the world today. None of the cane that's grown across the world for Daddario has these pesticides, herbicides, anything synthetic on it. You're putting it in your mouth all the time. You think about how many hours a day you're shoving those reeds into your mouth. And I, am, I for one, am really, really pleased that my reeds are organic. But as with anything, do the reeds still play the same? Only one way to find out. <laughs> exactly the same wonderful consistency I always get from my Daddario Select Jazz Reads. <laughs> Best laid plans of mice and men and all that. My daughter's sick at school. See you in a moment. Having been on YouTube for over six years, I can almost hear the comments coming in the bottom, particularly from those people who might be disparaging about Daddario, uh, might go to other reed manufacturers, and yes, other reed manufacturers have used the cardboard sleeves for a long time. 
uh, some still do use the plastic, as the Daria will be doing in the States. This is only a European thing, which is disappointing, but understandable. And actually, it's quite nice for Europe to be ahead of the States when it comes to the Daria products, because we had to wait a long time for the Venreed here in the States. Now, the Venreed is the other kind of elephant in the room, and I have reached out to the Daria. To be fair to the UK contact, they have said they'll have to contact their development office and get back to me. So I will post their answers in the uh, comments box below. So please do make sure you're, you're there and hear me out as I say this. Yes, the Venreed, that was the kind of elephant I asked them about. I said, now come on, you're saving all this stuff, this 13,000 kilos of plastic waste, but you're producing a synthetic reed. How much waste is involved in this synthetic reed making process? Which is a doable question. But if you sit back and think about how much plastic, if I think about how much plastic I get from the supermarket each week, versus how much plastic is used in my reeds. Anything that can be done to help, and I really appreciate Dodario doing this, and reaching out, and making that across the range. You know, as the supermarket says in this country, every little helps, and I think if there are efforts being made in that way, if there are more and more reed companies that are producing organic products, who are producing products that have got less plastic waste in there, so that we're trying every little bit just to reduce that. I think that is a positive and needs to be applauded. So I think Dodario have done a good thing with these organic reeds. I hope you'll support them. I hope more reed manufacturers will go over to this organic process and we can just make that little bit of difference that we need to do. We have an awful lot more to do in the music industry to become more conscious of our environment, to become more respectful um, of where we live and what we do. And as musicians, I know we do. And I know that even the cars we drive, the products we use, how much paper we go through. I'm just literally looking here at my music stand and seeing the amount of paper that's here that I just willingly print when I shouldn't. I should be more, hold back, use the iPad a little bit more. But there you go, that is the organic reads from Dodario. I hope, like me, you will find absolutely no difference on the read itself, but a huge amount of difference in the packaging and obviously within its production. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you really, really soon. Bye-bye.